हेलो मेरे किड्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग हाउस एवरीबडी दिस इज सुधर हियर ऋत्वी हाय तिरुपदम्मा कल्पना सिंह मानसी गाइस वेलकम टू द सेशन वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ ब्रांड न्यू चैप्टर अ लवली चैप्टर ऑन लॉन्गिट्यूड्स एंड लैटिट्यूड्स यू विल लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स अबाउट ग्लोब व्हाट इज एन इक्वेटर व्हाट इज एन एक्सिस यू विल आल्सो नो यू नो what is latitude what are parallels of latitudes what are what is a prime meridian lot of new things which will help you you know what will happen once you understand this you will know how the earth is structured all right and you will go to, we will go to an extent where we are able to even locate places with latitude and longitude yeah amazing awesome So hi Sushma how are you hi Pujita team we will just wait for a few more seconds for others to jump in and then we'll go ahead okay right okay Cool. Let's move on. I think enough of waiting. Hey guys, I'm going to hide myself for a few seconds. Look at the schedule for this week. So we are uh, already two days done. This is the third day of the week. So what is there in store today, tomorrow, all right, and day after? So all the three days we are going to deal with uh, globe, latitude, and longitude. So it's going to be super interesting. We will also conduct a beautiful menti every day. Hi Dani Vishwakarma I hope all of you have had a fair look at it shall I come back Is that a yes Thank you Here I am Moving on Hey guys in case you do not know much about this channel Vedant Young Wonders we are a channel dedicated to 6th 7th and 8th graders so 6th grade students 7th grade student and 8th grade students is what we focus on you know what is the best part we give you the entire year syllabus for math science social and english cbsc cool and uh, yes non academically also a lot of uh, you know focus is there so we give you umpty things you know there is a an exclusive kind of partly academic uh, session which is going on by priya ma'am math in real world we have general knowledge quizzes every week Lo coding sessions we just conducted we are planning part 2 so many are happening all right so don't forget to subscribe to the channel okay i am moving so the earth does not belong to man many a time we say that you know it is our earth right no 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 we are earth's people so man belongs to earth it's a larger perspective before man came came in earth was existing correct so the larger entity is always earth and not us okay great let us begin everyone ready all charged up like that ash yes menti will be there just hold on for a few more uh, you know seconds in fact minutes cool so what are we going to study today what is globe what are poles okay and axis and equator parallels of latitude heat zones of the earth so we going to speak study our own or these five things it's going to be super interesting guys so be pay attention okay right now let's start with globe What is globe guys any idea what is globe Come on come on come on tell me what is globe
मॉडल ऑफ द अर्थ ट्रू मॉडल ऑफ द अर्थ ब्यूटिफुल यू गाइस आर गुड ट्रू मॉडल इन अ मिनिएचर इन अ स्मॉल फॉर्म ओके सो ग्लोब इज द ट्रू मॉडल ऑफ द अर्थ सुपर ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ एवरीवन हु गॉट द राइट आंसर्स कीप इट अप गाइस कुडोस टू यू सो ग्लोब्स आर ऑफ डिफरेंट साइजेस बिग वंस पॉकेट साइज वंस एंड समथिंग लाइक बलून्स यू सी दैट ऑल द थ्री आई हैव पुट देयर you see all the three pictures that globe like a balloon can be you know you can inflate it like a balloon and keep it you can carry it easily anywhere yes sautik you are right beta so now uh the best part of the globe is you would be able to move it rotate it the way all right uh okay the way potter moves his wheel right you can see potter move their wheel and uh, they shape the pot right like that even globe you can rotate them because it is connected to an axis at both sides so you will see on the globe countries continents oceans everything properly uh, you know coordinated specific coordinates properly well placed hi rishab hi avantika right way yeah good yeah very specific so now so now you are clear what is a globe right it is a smaller version of the earth this is for us to study you can't study the earth because you can't see the uh, uh, see earth as a whole but to study it we need a smaller form a smaller miniature model of it and that is what we call a globe okay right lovely so everyone is clear about the globe right give me a yo Hi Priya. Suba. Okay. Guys, what are poles now? What are poles? Yeah, for that you are saying north pole, south pole. I am asking what are poles? My dear kids, if you see the globe, you have an axis. a line which is running inside it right a, a small stick kind of a thing right through the center see here you see a small stick running right through the center holding the globe that is the axis so on the top side and the bottom side where you see the arrow mark right top side and the bottom side these are nothing but poles pole indicates the top and bottom of the earth wow different definition right top and bottom side of the earth So that's what we call as north and south poles. Cool. I hope now you guys are pretty clear. Awesome. So the top and bottom of the earth are called poles, and they are very similar to top and bottom of the globe. That is why I gave the same analogy. Okay. So the top side you call it as north pole. The bottom side you call it as south pole. Okay. Places towards you know when you divide the globe into two or earth into two. All right. things places towards the south pole right you call them as southern hemisphere towards the north pole that is the top side you call it as northern hemisphere hungry hi i am not hungry just kidding got it pretty simple right okay guys everyone clear about the poles now what are what are poles north pole and south pole northern hemisphere southern hemisphere clear come on every time i want you guys to give me a yo no other option cool awesome let me jump in axis what is axis guys come on tell me don't tell me axis bank sir what is axis Come on, come on, come on. PSK films, lovely. Thank you. Keep up the you. You do the good job here, and we are just a support system. Imaginary line on Earth, which in which the Earth rotates. So in the globe, you see both the sides 
one stick kind of a thing right connecting both the sides right so if you take a globe in the exactly in the center you pierce a stick that stick is the axis of the globe right so a needle which is fixed through the globe in a tilted way you call it as axis it is an imaginary line running right at the center of the you know earth and earth rotates on its axis that means the stick will not rotate stick will remain the same earth will rotate if the stick is in the center everyone clear clear all of you what is axis so exactly you know okay i'll come back come to the other parts everyone clear superb awesome equator what is equator my god i gave you a clue by putting that on the picture what is equator my dear kids you cut you know horizontally if you run a line cut the earth into half the center line as you call it that is uh, the zero degree line as we call it and you call it as equator all right so it is like uh, you cutting a slice of orange into half so when you cut it the place where you place the knife in the center that is equator it standardly is at 0 degrees latitude okay now i have not told you what is latitude so i am not explaining that cool guys everyone clear what is equator equator is an imaginary line right the you know which divides the earth globe into two parts okay because why is equator important for us to specifically locate places in the earth equator serves as a reference point from there so many degrees north the no so many degrees south i'm just giving an example right so without that you will not understand what it is is everyone understanding what exactly is equator all of you cool come on come on come on fixed point on the earth which rotates guys you have the earth right assume that this is the earth exactly in the center right if you run a needle or a stick that is the axis but the axis generally will be in a tilted form cool generally that happens in a tilted form one thing one more thing equator is different equator generally is horizontal division you see that picture exactly you uh, you know the way you cut an orange you see top and bottom the center line is the equator which is at 0 degrees lot of things to learn right but it will be interesting because you will know how to study the earth places in the earth so equator is a reference point so as i said the north side toward which goes towards the north pole you call it as northern hemisphere the south south pole all places you call them as you know places in the southern hemisphere all right hey guys everyone clear nitin beautifully said simply put divides the earth into two horizontally yeah great you guys are too good all right so till then you know even now already it's been just a few minutes 15 minutes we have learned a lot awesome so guys so uh, this is time for me to help you understand how to learn more full fledged from the best of teachers in vedantu because vedantu has introduced a subscription called vedantu pro when you you know and you know what is the best part guys you would have seen the tv ads and all how many of you have seen vedantu improvement promise tv ads come on come on come on let me see if they just really created it enough visibility all right awesome hi arsh official okay guys vedantu improvement promises when you take up the subscription vedantu pro and you attend minimum of 75% classes complete a minimum of 75% of our tests that we give we assure you improvement in your scores it could be your school board exams it could be vedantu benchmark test comparatively you will see your rank moving up getting it 
so that is vedantu improvement promise in case it is not happening you get the course fee back you can ask for it we will not ask you any questions we'll give the money back so now speaking about what kind of course it is a course which is going to give you or learn help you learn from the best of teachers point number 1 unlimited live classes with them you become super strong as a student you will see that you can watch replays if you miss classes or if you are not clear any you know any time when the teacher is teaching focus on what they are teaching you don't keep writing right that distracts you so that in at the end of the session just in one click you can download all the notes of teachers what they have written cool and guys any number of doubts you can ask them inside the session uh, we also give you quality tests and assignments cool hungry yeah give me some time probably 5 10 minutes we'll start the mainty so guys unlimited courses and you also have free crash course access if you are preparing for competitive exams unlimited micro courses are also there as i just said it's not unlimited courses topic wise chapter wise courses are also there okay right so guys a lot of features less price what should you do there is a blue color desk, you know uh, link which is given in your description box in the comment box they have pinned that link go to that link note down this coupon code srpro type your grade and your board it will bring you to this page you can see there are three subscription variants one is called light one is called classic one is called premium so if you want to take light light will give you unlimited live classes tests assignments and doubt solving inside the session that's light but along with all these things if you also want doubt solving any time in mobile app classic you can take along with all light as well as classic features and you also want a personal mentor and you also want the batch size to be small like 15 students take premium right now you know the difference between light classic and premium and guys you have two options you can try for one month you will know how wonderful the subscription is or you can buy the complete course both options are there so you see that orange color box try for one month or buy complete course you also see apply coupon for both click on apply coupon type srpro to get the discount cool so guys so if you want to try for one month light is 1710 rupees 1710 classic is rupees 2520 and premium will be 5400 you have to go to your my sessions tab click on the session that you want to watch and click replay okay if you want to watch the replay so vedantu improvement promise is always there guys of course because why why are you joining all these things you why should you join a a tuition because you want to improve your marks and we guarantee you there nowhere you can get this guarantee so guaranteed improvement if there is no progress get your course fee back no question asked so guys but for that 75% attendance minimum 75% test completion minimum cool awesome great guys because the teachers are awesome they make even the worst or in fact the the most most boring concept very interesting the most tough concept very simple sir when is it starting 5th of july and the next one for cbse icse already started on 7th june if you are taking a premium subscription pro premium 12th of july right is when it is starting and icse 5th of july cool all right guys just visit the link in the description box Uh, i have already told you and use make use of the coupon code click on apply coupon before subscribing type srpro to get the discount right now coming back to our chapter parallels of latitudes okay guys all of you know what is an equator right everyone they are all lines are imaginary all right it is for mapping the coordinates we have created these parallels of latitudes these lines don't exist on the earth okay right now coming back everyone is clear what is an equator to the north as well as the south of the equator if you place parallel lines every line is 1 degree upwards and downwards these lines are called parallels of latitude why it is parallels of latitude any idea why it is called parallels of latitude hi sonia i am awesome thank you wow 
Vanshika, the use of the globe is you can study earth as a whole. How is the earth structured? Where exactly is what place? Everything. No, they are called parallels of latitudes because they run parallel to the equator. Equator line is in the center horizontally. The parallels of latitudes will be above or below in parallel. Clear? Who is this? Hi, Devyani. All right, now everyone is clear. What are parallels of latitudes? They don't, they don't, they don't. Hey guys, are you clear? Without you being clear, what is the point in me continuing, right? So I'll, I'll always put a break. Understand if you guys have understood and then we go. Yeah, KV, if you want to get doubt solving after that, you can uh, opt for, you know, the uh, classic because you get doubt solving in app itself. Anytime after the class also. Right. Hey guys, if you see that this session is interesting, hit the like button guys. I really want to know if you guys are liking this. I love this chapter generally. Tomorrow, and tomorrow most probably we will see how to locate uh, places with this latitude and longitude. Alright, now coming back. Dania, it is for your class, whichever class you are in for that. So now, all parallel circles, right? This is the equator, equator line across the center. You see that, right? Dotted line. Above and below, you see parallel lines. From here, it looks like a line, but it is like a circle across the globe, right? So, they are called parallels of latitude. Latitudes generally are measured in degrees. Okay, the equator is in zero degree latitude. Simple, right? So each line of latitude above and below, that is north and south, they increase by 1 degree. For every 1 degree, you will have one line of latitude. So 90 degrees north latitude marks the north pole. Right? So 90 degrees north, that means what? You have the equator in the center, exactly in the center, 90 degrees you go, it is 90 degrees north and below you say 90 degrees south. Everyone is able to understand this, right? Yes. Okay. So, if you run a specific line between 19 degree north and 90 degree south, it is called prime meridian. I will come back to that. Don't worry. So, 90 degree north latitude is this north pole. 90 degree south is the south pole. So, guys, as you move from the equator, the size of the parallels of latitude will decrease. Agree all of you? Can you understand the third point? As you move away from the equator, equator is in the center. So that means the radius will be very high. Alright. But as you move up, you see that the, the globe is like this, right? It is closing. So the, generally the, the perimeter, the, as well as the radius will decrease. Everyone is understanding? You look at it, 60 degree north, the size of that latitude line and 0 degrees which is larger, 0 degree will be larger, right? It is a big line, big circle. The size of the circle for 60 degrees north will be smaller because at the top. Cool? Latitude is measured in all degrees starting from equator, depending on which place you are looking at. So guys, all parallels which run to the north of the equator, that is above, they are called north latitudes all parallels which run below or that is the towards the south pole south of the equator they are called south latitudes so whenever they speak about a place whenever they indicate a place they will say 96 degree north 20 degree south etc look at the example chandrapur in maharashtra it is 20 degree north belo horizonte in brazil brazil is 20 degree south for now, just remember this, you will might not understand very deeper. I will show you exact coordinates, then you will understand. Hey guys, till this, or you guys, I'm though we have dealt with so many things, this is pretty simple. Is everyone understanding it? Are you clear?
cool awesome great so important parallels of latitude so when we speak about the parallel south latitudes as well as north latitudes right the above and below ones north latitudes and south latitudes few lines are important for you first line is tropic of cancer you call it a circle not the line tropic of cancer is 23.5 degree north so tropic of cancer where it is in the northern hemisphere similarly at the below 23.5 degree south is the tropic of capricorn in the southern hemisphere so arctic circle if you have the equator in the center arctic circle is 66.5 north of the equator which is almost towards the end of the pole north pole similarly antarctic circle is 66.5 south of the equator so both are extreme climates one is towards the north pole one is towards the south pole max life equator is an imaginary line which cuts the earth into two horizontally okay equator starts at 0 degree latitude now heat zones of the earth guys after this we are going to jump into a menti be ready so if you look at uh, equator anything near the equator you call it as a torrid zone right and you have uh, tropic of cancer which is a temperate zone and the uh, arctic circle which is a frigid zone so torrid temperate and frigid now i'll explain you what are you know what kind of climate will be there in torrid zone what kind of climate will be in temperate zone and frigid zones so you should know that is when you will understand what the kind of climate will be there in the, these zones right so torrid zones the midday sun is exactly all right overhead it is like above your head okay at least once a year on all latitudes between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn so this area receives maximum heat and that's why it's called a torrid zone that means torrid zone generally is very hot remember that look at the torrid zone exactly near the equator areas exactly near the equator take examples of africa and all you see there right very hot Hey guys, uh, is everyone clear with what is uh, torrid zone? All of you, come on, come on, give me an answer. Then only I'll move forward. Torrid zone is, ex you know, areas, places exactly near the equator. That's the torrid zone. You see that pink color line which they have drawn above and below the equator? Torrid zone. One is north torrid zone. The south torrid zone. okay temperate zones temperate zones are above the torrid zones the midday sun will never be overhead that means maximum heat will not come right so sun is always slanting it is like if this is the earth sun will always be slanting right all right but if it is torrid zone you will see that sun will straight exactly straight it will hit you but temperate zone sun will always be slanting because of which temperature will be very friendly very congenial mild temperatures will be here you getting it right these zones are called temperate zones all right so it is these temperate zones both south and uh, north and south of the uh, equator they are above the torrid zones frigid zone extreme climate right so because in frigid zone very less sun rays come in heat very very heat, less heat comes in so this part will receive very very less heat from the sun all the time most of the time they will be extremely cold these are called frigid zones a frigid zone in the northern hemisphere is called north frigid zone and the other one is southern frigid zone southern hemisphere guys now coming back torrid zone temperate zone frigid zone this is the equator above the equator torrid zone a little above that temperate zone towards the pole frigid zone similarly below torrid zone temperate zone towards the south pole frigid zone 
Everyone clear with this? Right, guys. Uh, India is uh, typically a little close to the equator, guys. Okay. Right. So, till this, we have dealt with today, we have dealt with multiple things, very interesting things about starting with what is a globe, what is the equator, what are latitudes, what is axis, what are the different heat zones. We have dealt with everything today. So, I hope everyone is clear. Shall we jump for a mentee? Yeah, I have not spoken about longitude. So, I am not, I am holding myself from prime meridian now. Okay. Tomorrow, we will speak about prime meridian. Awesome. So, guys, don't close YouTube, your current window. Open a separate window and type in the address bar www.menti.com M-E-N-T-I menti.com Once you type that, it's going to ask you for a code. Type the code Come on, come on, come on, make it fast. Once again, I repeat, go to, a, open a separate browser window, type www.menti.com and type the code 26714778. Jumping to a menti now, be ready. So guys, here it is. I see, guys, many of you have not joined. Come on. I will not give more than 15 seconds. I am going to start. So, quickly join. So, there are five questions as you can see. I am refreshing my page so that everyone is able to join. Alright, time is running. Here it is. So, the first question, guys, on your screens now. Here we go. So, what is the first question? What is a globe? Earth or it is a true model of the earth, both A and B or none of these. Okay. True model of the earth. Simple, but we already dealt with this definition. There is no way you guys can make a mistake. Most of you got this right. Superb. So, Vivek, Harav, Arjun, Varshita and Joel. Top 5. Ribet, Manas, Mahir, Sautik and Arpit. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Superb guys. Question 2. Waiting for you. Ready? Here it comes.
what is a needle fixed through the globe in a tilted manner you have the globe in a tilted manner you pierce a needle what is it called orbit axis latitude longitude Let me see how well you guys have understood whatever I have taught. How many say axis sir? It is option B. How many say that? Ooh, ooh, awesome guys. Super proud of all of you. You guys are super clear. Axis it is. So now after two questions. Who stands where? Looks like Vivek and Arav are in the same. Arav, Vivek, Arjun, Varshita, Nikhil. Top five. Manas, Mahir, Sautik, Joel and Dhruv. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So guys, what's happening? Question 3. Just two more to go. Here we go. Guys, focus on the quiz. What divides the earth into two parts? Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Tropic of Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, Arctic Circle. I will not speak a word here. Otherwise, you guys will get a clue. If you have understood all what I told you, you should be able to get this bang on. All right, it is equator. Look at that, almost every one of you. Super proud of you guys. That's like my boys and girls. Superb. Awesome, guys. Vivek, still at the top. Yes. Followed by Arav, Arjun, Joel, Dhruv. Top five. Kushagra, Mahir, Ishanvi, Varshita, and Siddharth. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi, Sai, Akshay, Akshay. How are you? So question 4, just one more to go. Guys, time to buckle up, be on your toes. Here I push the question to your screens. Name one of the following parallels of latitudes as Tropic of Cancer. Guys, Tropic of Cancer is in which, how many degrees, north or south? Tropic of Cancer. 0 degrees, 23 degrees, 23 degrees, 30, right, uh, south or 23 degrees, 30, north, 66 degrees, 30, north. Wow, not bad, 23.5, right, 23.5 degrees north, superb guys, keep it up. 64 of you got this right. Sai Sindhu, the code is 26714778. Vivek Malhotra, Neeraj Sautik, Varshita, Ishanvi, top 5. Mahir, Arav, Arjun, Siddharth and Jian, 678910. So here we go with the final question. What is it? Here it comes. Between which parallels of latitudes is the torrid zone situated? Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle, Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle, Torrid Zone, none of these. So, one side you have the torrid zone. Torrid zone is very close to the equator, right? One side you have the Tropic of Cancer, the other side below, towards the southern uh, pole, you have the Tropic of Capricorn. Perfect, 72 of you got it. I don't know, a few of you got confused here. So, guys, Vivek. Looks like Vivek is winning the quest today. Congratulations, Vivek. 
followed by Neeraj, Ishanvi, Arjun and Mahir. Great job done Vivek, congratulations. Neeraj, Ishanvi, Arjun, Mahir, great job done guys, top 5. Sarya, Sati, Ashish, Sauri, Pani and Sautik. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 guys, you guys were part of the leaderboard. Bottom 10, bottom 5, great job done. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Alright, today's homework. What are the four important parallels of latitudes? What are the four important parallels of latitudes? I have already spoken about it today. Remember I spoke about two, four, four important points, right? What are they? Okay? So you guys, revise it. Come back to me tomorrow. Put it in the comments of this video itself once you are done. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching. Was the session very interesting? Yes? Hit the like button and let me know it is interesting. Alright, and do subscribe guys. Do subscribe to the channel. I am sure you won't be disappointed. Okay? <coughs> Thank you so much guys. I will meet you tomorrow with part 2 of this session. Until then, this is myself Sundar Ravindranathan signing off kids. Take care. Bye-bye.